I'm Anil Kumar. I'll take a few videos which will help you perform better in calculus. So we are calling it pre-calculus review. The question here is, we need to find equation of the tangent line to each circle at the given point. Four different equations are given, slightly different forms, but they are all equations of circle, right? The first one here is x square plus y square equals to 169. The point is minus 12, 5. Second one is x minus 1 whole square plus y plus 2 whole square equals to 25. The point is 5, 1. Then we have x square plus y square minus 6x minus 8y equals to 0. You have to find equation of tangent line at 0, 0. And the last one here is x square plus y square minus 10x equals to 0. The point is 9, 3. You can pause the video, write down the equation of the tangent line, and then look into my suggestions. So as you can recall, all these are indeed equation of circle, right? General equation of circle is given here as x minus, let's say, h whole square plus y plus 2 whole square equals to r square. In the first case, we know center is at 0, 0, h and, I mean, let me write this as k, h and, let's write, y minus k whole square, right? So h and k is the center, let's write, this is k, perfect. So here, if you want to put the center, the center will be at 0, 0 in the first case. For the second one, the center will be at the point 1 minus 2. Here, some of you may know, some of you may have to do some exercise, complete the squares. We'll take up in another video the complete process. But from the equation also, you can get center minus half of these values, right? So the transformation here is that x has been moved minus half of minus 6. So that gives me the point 3. Half of 8 is 4, 3, 4. Now for this circle, the center will be at uh, x value has been translated 5 units, right? So minus 10 minus half will be 5, 5 units to the right. The y value remains at the origin. So that becomes the center point for the given circles, right? So we did minus half of these values to find those points of circle, h and k, right? Okay, well, we'll take up this in details in another video also. I'll provide you with the links. Now, the idea is we know the center of the circle we also know the radius because radius is square root of that number, right? Now, let us see how to find equation of tangent line for such circles. So, let's review the concept. Let's say, uh, let's say we have a, I'll make a rough sketch here. I'll do the first one. Uh, x square plus y square equals to 169. Let me make a circle here. We are given a point which is minus 12, 5. The radius is 13, so that point will be somewhere here. So the tangent will be kind of like this. Is it okay? So let's say this is the point which is minus 12, 5. Correct? So we are doing part A. This is 13 for us. Origin, right? 0, x axis, y axis, and this is 13 for us. Is that okay? So that becomes the point of our interest. We need to find the equation of this tangent line. How will you do it? Think about it. Well, the concept is that you join that point with the center. Okay, so when you join it, then the tangent has to be at right angles with the radius. Is that okay? 
correct so slope of the tangent will be negative reciprocal slope of the radius right so let's call this o and let's call this point as p correct so in the first step let's find slope of op so the step will be find slope we'll call this m of op is it okay so slope as you know is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 in our case y2 is 5 y1 is 0 over x2 is minus 12 0 so that gives us minus 5 over 12 correct so that is the slope of op now since we have a perpendicular which is the tangent so let's call this perpendicular and slope of perpendicular will be let's say let me write mt the tangent is going to be negative reciprocal so negative becomes positive of this and reciprocal means 12 over 5 is it okay so from here we get slope of our tangent once you know the slope of the tangent you can use equation of the line which is y equals to mx plus b find b substitute m which is 12 over 5 so what we have here is y equals to slope 12 over 5 x plus b to find b we can always use the point minus 12 5 5 is the y value so 12 over 5 times minus 12 plus b is it okay now you can do some math here do some calculations and you can find that b will be equal to so bringing this to the right side it becomes 5 minus becomes plus 12 times 12 is 144 divided by 5 is it okay uh, well that should give me b equals to or uh, we can use the calculator or let's do it 25 plus 144 uh, do your calculations my calculations can be wrong so it'd be 169 over 5 is it okay if b value is this in that case equation of the line will be y equals to 12 over 5 x plus 169 over 5 is it okay at times you may be required to write in standard form you can multiply all by 5 this is simple here and write the equation well that is one of your answers but if required in standard form you could uh, write like this 5y equals to 12x plus 169 rearrange so we get 12x bringing 5y on this side minus 5y plus 169 equals to 0 right so that becomes the equation of tangent line for part a but i hope the steps are absolutely clear once you know the center then using the center and the given point you can find slope of op slope of the tangent will be negative reciprocal so that is that once you know slope of the tangent line and a point on it then you can always find equation of the line different formulas can of course be used i use y equals to mx plus b uh, some of you may like to use another form which is uh, uh, which is derived from here itself so we can write uh, that y minus y1 equals to slope m times x minus x1 correct so you could use this formula and also get the same equation uh, it's all up to you follow the method which best suits you now as an exercise i like you to find equation of tangent lines for the other three circles at the given point i'll provide you with the links of their solution also so that you can check your solution i'm anil kumar and i hope that really helps to move forward and do better in calculus thank you and all the best feel free to share my videos write comments 
And if you like, you can put some likes. Thank you.